Hello. <coughs> so you really are in the grave. Thank you very, very much for coming on the, one of the most beautiful afternoons uh, of the year. Um, as part of this wonderful, I hope you've seen the play, Ghost of the Grave. It's wonderful. Uh, my name is Jean Seaton, and um, I'm the director of something called the Orwell Prize, which you like all well has got. It's absolutely bustling and bursting with things about Orwell on our website, the Orwell Prize. Um, and we're very, very grateful for our panelists this afternoon. We're going to talk about unemployment, um, which was one of the things that uh, Orwell wrote about, and which is, is obviously you know, bad and going to might get worse. And um, we've, we've got about this distinguished panel who are giving up our Saturday afternoons in their name and some too. Um, Andy Beckett from The Guardian has just written an absolutely wonderful book, um, When the Lights Went Out, Britain in the 70s, which is full of, you know, thinking and, and life, actually, and the kind of life that's going on in the 70s in the run-up to the last big unemployment. And he writes regularly to The Guardian, I'm sure you recognise his brother. Lisa Harker um, has been trying to dig children out of poverty and wrote a very remarkable report. She's now deputy on children in poverty. She's now the director of the IPPR, so, which is, I'm sure you will know, a, a, a kind of a think tank that was set up really in the run up to New Labour. Uh, but as, as a way to try and think sensible policy, kind of to be more radical than the Fabians, but. That's about it, wasn't That's it? Good. That sounds good. Um, and she's done a whole, she's written a whole range of report issues. So she's absolutely been at the cold face really, of trying to think about these things. Paul Mason, um, I'm sure is familiar to you from Newsnight. He, he reports on the economy. He um, has been on the oil shortlist twice, I think. Yeah. Once for a wonderful book on trade unions all over the world, really, at the activity of trade unions all over the world. And secondly, because he, he has rather a good blog, um, which I recommend you to. So, I mean, this is about as good as you can get for people thinking their way through both where we are and like in the future. And I wanted to start, actually, um, with just, just a question. And, and perhaps I'll go to Andy first. Um, and we'll go to think. Because it seems to me, how, how bad is unemployment now? And how much worse is it going to get? My 29-year-old son, a journalist, sat down and said, I don't understand. I don't understand whether we're coming out of it, going into it, how bad it's going to get. What's an unemployment school looking for? Well, I mean, first of all, I say I'm not an economist, so this is a kind of approximate answer. <coughs> but I think that the political system in Britain has got used to quite a high level of unemployment. And not really thinking about it too closely, I mean, even during the very good years under Blair and the commas unemployment was way, way higher than it was in most of the post-war years. Mm -hmm. So I think we've already got a lot of intolerance in the fiscal system in Britain for high unemployment. Um, nevertheless, I think things are going to get a lot worse from where they are now, because <coughs> as any economist will tell you, unemployment carries on going up long, long after the economy starts to kind of fitfully recover. Um, so I think in some ways there's a parallel with the 70s, which is at the end of the 70s, unemployment was higher than it had been for a while, but it was going to get a hell of a lot worse, and as we may get onto this, but when Sarchi and Sarchi did their famous and very damaging to Labour campaign, Labour is working in 78, unemployment was then just over a million, and it got up to three or four times that um, <coughs> under Thatcher. Um, so people felt it was a kind of ominous signal of something going wrong in society and the economy, but they didn't quite know quite how bad it was going to get. I think we're maybe somewhere similar now, that the Labour isn't working campaign would work very well for Cameron next year, but I bet you under Prime Minister Cameron, unemployment would be a lot higher. 